Okay, but what about you guys are not six feet away from each other? These two aren't six feet away from each other. So, I mean, is there a reason? That uh, these people are not six feet apart and they're not wearing protective gear. He's talking to somebody else and you butt in. That's, that's uh, rude. I'm saying, I'm saying okay, I'll give you, you, there, what do you want to say? Anything you want to say, I'll give you your own 30 seconds. No, you don't know that? Okay, 30 seconds, there you go. Okay, sir, are the beat meetings canceled? Makes media credentials. I can say I'm the president of the Kinko's States, makes media credentials. United States, right? Okay, well, try that. I just, you see my I media credentials? You see my media credentials? You see it? That's your media credentials? You see it? Don't First, stay six feet away. The video was about a completely other subject, but what it turns into is the biggest tyrant ever seen on disorderly product news with the stats to back it up. It's just been named the new CPD union president. Well, that's par for the course. What's going on, guys? Disorderly Product News. Here I am going into the 8th District. Now, the point of this video is not whether you believe um, people should have to wear masks or not. It's that the government should have to wear masks because the governor's on TV every day. In fact, in the new executive order, as of May 1st, you have to wear masks in public. So, this is not for the regular citizen. This is for people that are part of the executive branch of the government. They surely have to wear masks. It was strongly implied before May 1st. I mean, everybody knew they should be wearing masks. And then it was written as of May 1st. So there's no way that... The government workers are not wearing masks, right? They're talking to the public 24-7. I want to make sure that uh, they're wearing their masks. I don't want them spreading the bird flu. What's going on, guys? What up? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Just uh, doing a little compliance check, making sure my first responders are wearing their uh, protective gears, PPE. Uh, what's the website? Uh, can't tell you. What's going on, Sarge? Is it the the first? Seriously? Seriously? Yeah, oh, it, this is happening right now. It's seriously happening, brother. You see how he said seriously? The first thing he said uh, when he saw me? Obviously trying to want confrontation, but when I turned on a dime and confronted him, he acted like he didn't say it and he turned his back. That's, that's, that's what he ended up being like. So... I don't know. But that's the, I mean, that's all you get. You get your first shot after that. If you got to stay in there and work up the courage, then it's a wrap. Prior to May 1st, it was not spelled out in the executive order, but it was highly implied. Obviously, all the masks go to the first responders first. After May 1st, it was written out. You have to have a mask on in public. Yet, as you can see, they're still not wearing masks. So why should any citizen take the executive order seriously when uh, the people involved with the executive order, the, the executive branch of the government, they themselves are not wearing masks? It's do as I say, not as I do? Okay. Uh, Sarge, is there a reason why... Uh I mean, the PPEs are low for everybody, and you guys come in contact with a lot of people. Is there a reason why you're not wearing? It uh, looks about 60%, 70% are not wearing their protective gear. Well, I didn't finish the question, so once the question's over, then you can answer. Okay, I'm done now. Okay, but what about you guys are not six feet away from each other? These two aren't six feet away from each other. Governor Pritzker, the, a, the, the bird flu does not care that... Uh, these guys are friends. The bird flu doesn't care about that. So, I mean, is there a reason? That uh, these people are not six feet apart and they're not wearing protective gear. Oh, so, oh, you can't get the bird flu if you work together? Can you sit six feet away from each other in a squad car? You would be, you should be wearing your mask then. Oh, whoa. So, so you're saying because you're not mandated to, then you shouldn't have to. Oh, it's a personal choice. Okay, so you might you don't mind spreading it to everybody, because it's your personal choice. Okay. Yeah, well, I I understand that the the so you're saying in the 
governor's executive order, it says nothing about you wearing a PPE while on duty. I'm asking you, that's not what I said. I'm asking, I'm saying in the executive order, does it say anything about you wearing PPE while on duty? I have no idea. I haven't read the executive order. Oh, well then how are you making such claims? I didn't make any claims. You just said we didn't have to wear it. You just said we didn't have to wear it. Well, it would be mandated in the executive order. Oh my God, oh, what's your name, rank and star number? Name, rank and star number. Name, rank, star number. So you haven't read the executive order, but you know what it says. Okay. What's going on, buddy? My man, my man. I like it. How can I watch it if you don't tell me where to watch it? <laughs> trust me, they'll call you when you're on it. It's that, <laughs> it's that, it, other people have asked me, and I say, trust me, they'll call you when you're on it. Right. It's that big. It's the big one. If you think of any of them, if you pay attention, it's the big one. They'll, they'll put you on. I like it that you had a smile on your face. But no, I, I just thought that uh, maybe uh, I was in the area. I thought, uh, I know McDonald's uh, donated a million. Uh, some other people donated up around four or five million uh, that you guys would be wearing them. But uh, I don't know. Do you believe this is even real? Yeah. The swine flu, right? Hoof and mouth disease? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't say it on this, though. <laughs> you get me demonetized. Yeah, I know. I can't, I can't say what it is because uh, uh, Ebola. Uh, so, yeah. Do, 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 you believe, do you believe it's uh, true? Have you seen it firsthand? I, oh, so you've been out on the street and you've seen it firsthand? Yeah, man. I got tested today. They're doing it right now, right here. Oh, can the public get tested? Well, who said no? You can go to Rosen Hospital get tested. I'm sorry? You can go to Rosen Hospital get tested. What's your name, Rank and Star Number, sir? Officer John Kittens, 19897. Okay, officer. I'm sorry, what were you saying now? That I was talking to him and then you started talking. You what asked you said? The public can get tested here, and I said no. Okay. It's for district personnel. Uh huh. If you want to get tested, you can go to Rosen Hospital. Same people that are doing it here, and you get tested here. Okay, where's that at? I don't know what you said, kids. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that, oh. officer. Well, I like this. Yeah, yeah. You guys have any? Uh, is are all the beat meetings and everything? Are they off? Are they canceled? I'll, I'll pick on you, sir. Yes. No, hold on. I'm talking to him. You, you're you're, you're okay. hogging all the camera time. Yes. No, no, I, I know, but I'm not talking to you. So you well, stop hogging the camera. Uh, 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 come on, stop it. That's like asking the sunshine. He can answer just as easy as I can. Okay. Yes, you can answer, but but to, but if somebody's talking to somebody else and you butt in, that's that's uh, I'm rude. Saying, Okay, place. I'll give you, you there. What do you want to say? Yeah, Anything I'll you want to say? I'll give you your own you thirty seconds. The meetings were canceled. I said yes. It's a public meeting, right? They're usually held on Park District grounds, which are currently closed. Also, you should know this, correct? No, you don't know that. Okay, thirty seconds. There you go. Okay, sir, are the beat meetings canceled? Not I don't know. I wasn't even paying attention. I tuned them out completely. Is this part of necessary travel? Well, I'm a member of the media, so I'm essential. Got a yep, sure do. Right here. Right there. It's around my neck. It's around my neck. Who issued it? I'm sorry? Who issued it? Who issued who issued your media pass? Who issues media credentials? I'm asking you. You got it. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> I don't have to answer that question. Who issues media credentials? So let's see your media credentials. Who issues them? I'm asking, let me see your media credentials. There's no such thing as media credentials. There isn't? No. Okay. There's no such thing as media so credentials. Essential travel. What? Well, so this is essential travel, like he asked you. I'm media. How are you media? Just because you're What do you mean, how am I media? What is this? Is, I, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I just told you I'm media. You asked me who, who, who makes media credentials. No one makes me. Kinko's makes media credentials. I could say I'm the president of the United Kinko's States. Kinko's makes media credentials. United States, right? Okay, well, try that. I disseminate inf information. He cannot wrap his mind around it. He cannot wrap his mind around the fact that uh, somebody can be something without a piece of paper that was stamped by somebody or a little plastic card with your picture on it. He's been so indoctrinated into a certain way of life that he just cannot wrap his mind around the fact that you can be media without any credentials. In fact, I got credentials. It's called the First Amendment. Study it. That, that, there's my media pass right there. It's the First Amendment.
It's a constitution. This is off the National Press and Photographers Association website. Press, general press ID. News organizations generally issue their own ID cards that identify employees and in some cases freelancers as working for the organization. Many photographers have created their own IDs using Photoshop and a laminated luggage tag. So again, there is no such thing as a universal press pass. Now, for the Grammys. Now, for the Grammys. The Grammys will hand out press credentials for that specific event but there is no such thing as a universal press pass no such thing the first amendment grants you five liberties one of them is freedom of the press it's the constitution that is my press credential okay well try that i disseminate inf information that's of public interest that's what makes you media not a media credential that's what makes you media so brush up on that next time you want to talk to somebody so Maybe the guy that talks so much should know That's more. Your interpretation. Okay. What? Well, then, then tell me the difference. Then tell me how you know your media. Tell me what what, what government agency gives media, media credentials? credentials? Who? What government agency? The city issues. Them. What government agency issues media credentials? The city issues media credentials. What city? Where? What city are you in? What? And what where? I mean, what? What department? States, what department? What department? What department issues media credentials? What? What department issues media credentials? You said you got them. What department? Did you not just tell me you had media credentials? I do have media credentials. Let me see them. No, I don't have to According let you see you my media exist, credentials. But you have them. Yes, they're made by Kinkos. They're not made by I government agency. They're not made by. I don't care what you want to see. You're not going to see it. Okay. You could want to see it all you want. You're not going to see it. Why would you say something that doesn't well, matter? Why do you? Why are you? Why do you, you have to be a you jerk? Have an item that doesn't matter. Why do you have to be a jerk? I'm. I'm. At, well, how's it? Like, I'm questioning you. Yeah, like yeah, you are. You're a jerk. Else? You're a jerk. Did you do it to everyone else. What does that make you then? And I was nice what to them. What does that make you then? I was nice. You what have been a jerk you since you came out. I'm You've been a jerk. No different than what you're doing. You, you're making up stuff. No, I'm, who, not, I'm asking you questions. You, you just told, okay. I'm asking you questions. Who just makes like media credentials? Questions. Who makes media credentials? You I'm just said the you city. Just, you didn't answer my question. What? Let me see your media credentials. There, you see it. No, I don't. I see your sweatshirt. You see it? You see my media credentials? You see my media credentials? You see it? That's your media credentials? You see it? Don't First, stay six feet away. I am six Stay, feet away. stay six feet away. Take measure. Come out your mind. Press First Amendment. Yes. Yes. Activity, yes. Media. Yes. Media. There you go. Can there I you go. Now, no, you can't. No, you can't. You're not proud of it. Now tell me. This, now, tell me now tell me. Now tell. Now tell me. The 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 the. I can't take a picture of your media pass. I just said no. How many times do I have to say it? Are you deaf? Who now? What department makes media? Now, what you, department everybody. makes me to pass? You should have let me go out there. Reagan, Fitzgerald Peabody. Look at disorderly, looking like a moron, chasing his tail. In a conversation, just a circular conversation, round and round and round and round and round and round and round he goes. Never let disorderly go out and do anything. He's a moron. He's got himself involved with this guy. It's like a dog chasing his tail. Never going to get anywhere with him. Reagan as in Ronald Reagan, Fitzgerald as in John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the right wing and the left wing, the donkey and the elephant had me, the grandson of Uncle Sam. I'm what would happen if Chevy and Ford had a kid. I'm baseball and apple pie personified. But you, you can call me President Reagan. He's, you're live on the internet right now, guys. This is media to you, insulting people? I wasn't insulting anyone. You, you kept on budding. Me, you kept on budding into my conversation. You kept on times. budding into my conversation. You just called me stupid three different yes, times. Yes, you're right. So you're They're stupid people. four different times. There you go. That's that's media, huh? Insulting yeah. people. I was I was talking to them and then I asked them about. Said, you, you asked me questions. Oh my now. god, dude. Okay, go again. Now I'll give you another like thirty this. seconds. You don't say like people come and talk. Do not you come don't, near me, dude. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not. I'm telling you what to do. Do not come to six feet near me. I'm personnel here. I could be here. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm so, media. I could be here too. Okay. Unfortunately, he is personnel. They tried to fire him. The superintendent uh, said he should be fired, but uh, the police board kept him on. You're going to see. He has an incredible record of over 130 days suspended. This is the people's so building. This is not your me, building. You can't tell me what to do in the building. Yeah, I could tell you. Stay six feet away from me. I, I just did it. I just did it. I'm more than six feet away from you. I just did it. I'm more than six feet away from you. I don't think you like being challenged like you do everybody else. No, I don't you mind it at all. Medicine, you don't like it. I don't mind it at all. No, I, actually, I, actually I like it. You become insulting. I like it. You become insulting. It would, it would have been, it would have been boring if you didn't do it. to insult people. I didn't insult anyone. You insulted me. 
How did I insult you? What did you take that insulted? I said insult. Listen. I said I understand. I you, said well, how did you, I insult you? You called me stupid four times now, right? Okay. That's now, insulting, do you need to, do you needed to go to the department psychiatrist? What do you need to not get well. over this? I don't need anything. Uh, if if I apologize to you, would you be would you, you get don't better? Need to apologize. I'm just simply okay. pointing out the hypocrisy in your efforts. Okay. okay. You asked a lot of questions. You get in people's faces. Someone gets I didn't get his face. face. Look, get in people's faces. Get in people's face. I have I haven't made it fast right here. You're not known for that, right? The minute I walked in, that, the right? minute I walked in, you said, oh, oh, here we go. That's right. Turn around and talk away. That's it. That's how we end it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you putting on your mask. You, and you've actually been a gentleman. It, it, I did not, it, this, listen, I've been into every district. Some are bad, some are good. I can't control what people do. This is a mirror. I hold it up to the world. You show them who you are. He's only one person in Division, uh, District 8. You've seen the rest of these gentlemen. They're actually pretty nice. Even the sergeant, whatever. But uh, the people wanted to know what was going on inside the police station. So I decided to stop by. None of you guys have been jerks. He's been a jerk. I don't know why he wanted to be a jerk, but he's got to be a jerk. All right. Keep up the good work, guys. I appreciate you guys being out there and putting your life on the line, uh, being first responders, and uh, eat the mask. Thank you, sweetheart. Not a I knew, I knew, I knew you wanted to say something else. Do nothing. You're not gonna do nothing. Hold that. You're not gonna do nothing. Exactly. You're not gonna do nothing. See, there you go, guys. There you go, guys. That tough guy. He, the minute I walked in there, he wanted to get into it with me. Well, guess who's the new head of the FOP? That's right, George Costanza. The new head of the FOP. He was in another one of my videos right here. That's him at a city hall meeting wearing a shirt with a derogatory picture of a nickname that they show a police department had given the mayor. Catanzara brings his own baggage to the job. According to the Chicago Police Board Information Center, he was recommended for termination by two police superintendents. Once, he was suspended. In another case, he was returned to duty. His Go, John Catanzara. Or uh, George Costanza, that's a better name there. A uh, 52 year old white male. Two different badge numbers there. Uh, rank, he's a police officer. Unit, the 8th District, career, January 3rd, 1995 to present. 50 allegations, more than 96% of other. He's in the 96th percentile for allegations against. There's only 4% that have more. There's 13.4 thousand Chicago police officers. 10 sustained, 9 disciplined. 5 uses of force. He's in the 67th percentile for that. He's got, he's got one civilian compliment. That was him. He called in for himself. And uh, 6 honorable mentions. So let's go down here and look. Uh, let's look at the stuff that's sustained. Let's go. Uh, October 2013. One accused. George Costanza. Sustained violation noted. Operation personnel violations. Complaint white male. Uh, this happened in the 2001 block of North California. So... I'm not sure what that is over there. That's not, There's definitely not eight. It might be 12. Anyways, the investigators are James uh, Fielder and Patrick O'Kelly. <laughs> you, you guys got to grade your own paper and they still gave you an F. Damn, what did you have to do in 2013 for them to turn on you like that? They did you bogus. The use of force. It says unfounded. Coercion and violence. Uh, let's see what it says here. They got documents here that we can read. Now this was under sustained. Reporting party victim. Non-CPD. Female black. 
via electronic means. Instagram. Accused member. The reporting party victim alleges that the accused officer stated in a post on Instagram, I have a hunch we might cross paths one day. The reporting victim stated that she believes the statement was a threat. Of course it was a threat. I believe we might cross paths one day. So that's what that one said. Uh, let's see what this one says. This is in 2017. Statement. Uh, on September 29, 2017, screenshot of Instagram comments received from blank. Instagram comments made under a photo, photo posted by blank of a WGN9. That's a news station. Photo with the Chicago police officer says he stands for the anthem in the ch Facebook photo. Instagram comments made under a post made by blank of a screenshot of a comment made by an Instagram name. Mm. Use of force 20 day suspension. On June 14, 2008, a complaint was registered with the Independent Police Review Authority, IPRA, regarding an incident that occurred on the in the 18th District on June 14, 2008, it was alleged that an off-duty Chicago Police Department officer engaged in an unjustified physical altercation with the complainant, falsely arrested the complainant, and was working secondary employment while on medical leave of absence, provided a false statement to IPRA during its investigation, and that his overall actions were contrary to the stated Policy, goals, rules, regulations, orders, and directives of the department. Based upon statements by the accused, officer, witness, for photographs, records, and other reports, IPRA recommended a finding of unfounded for allegations that the officer engaged in an unjustified physical altercation with the complainant and falsely arrested the complainant. Furthermore, IPRA recommended to sustain allegations that the officer was working a secondary employment. Well, it's kind of hard to... Sweep that one in the rug. You can't make an excuse for that one. Uh, IPRA. Um, sustained employment while on medical leave of absence. Provided a false statement to IPRA during its investigation. And that his overall actions were contrary to the state of policy goals, regulations, orders. Da -da -da -da. IPRA recommended separation from the department for the accused officer. Yeah, that's called fraud. Taking a medical leave and then working another job is called fraud. So it looks like on uh, April 18th, 2012, the superintendent of the police filed with the police board of the city of Chicago charges against police officer John George Costanza or John. Cantazara, star number 3572, recommending that Sprint be discharged from the Chicago Police Department for filing the following rules. Oh, so this is how it works in Chicago Police. Uh, the superintendent, even though he is the leader and he takes all the heat, he doesn't get to discipline the officers. He can't fire them. They go before a uh, nine-person um, civilian uh, police officer board which is picked out by the mayor there's a pastor there's a dentist there's a lawyer there's a uh whatever um explain to customers that because of an art fair in the neighborhood that if they did not have a reservation they could not get into the restaurant he also was assisting the hostess rebecca with crowd control when a customer named messina Tried to get back into the restaurant after the hostess told him to leave. Costanza told him to leave. Messina refused to leave. Costanza testified that Messina threatened uh, Costanza and then spit at him. 
Costanza then handcuffed Messina and placed him under arrest. In the process of arresting Messina, Costanza identified himself as a police officer. There was substantial credible evidence presented in the hearing that Costanza was actually working as a security guard. Police officer Victor Matoya responded to the call for assistance at the restaurant after Messina was placed under arrest. Costanza told him either at the scene or... either at the scene of the arrest or at the police station that he was working security at the restaurant. Mary Maselli worked for the Chicago Police Department and retired as a sergeant. Costanza saw her with Messina at the restaurant and told her that he was working the door. Maselli testified that Costanza told her that a customer got belligerent and tried to punch him and that Costanza then placed the man under arrest. The police board finds testimony of uh, Montoya and Maselli to be credible. When Frank Rita, Rita Jr. called 911 after Messina was not listening to Costanza's directives, he said the 911 call, he said in the 911 call that an off-duty police officer was working as a bouncer. Clark Johnson, who was the patron at the restaurant at the time of the incident, told the IPRA investigator that Costanza was working as a bouncer. Costanza had previously testified before the hearing that uh, when Frank Rita Sr. initially called him, he had asked him to work security on the date of the art fair when Costanza was called by Rita Sr. on June 14, 2008. He was told to come to the restaurant. Costanza told him that he was injured on duty status and was not supposed to be working since there was no issue that Costanza was on injured or, uh, on injured on duty status with the Chicago Police Department on June 14, 2008. He should not have been working the day and performing the activities that he engaged in while at the restaurant. Correct. If you can't, uh, if you're getting paid, if you're on paid leave, sick leave, because you can't perform your police functions like arresting people, you can't work your second job. Another 20 day suspension right after the other one. This one was for operation personnel violations absent without permission. Oh, the, the the superintendent recommended that he be discharged again for this one. Criminal misconduct? Criminal? Conspiracy to commit a crime? Criminal misconduct? Domestic. Domestic altercation. Physical abuse. In the Park Police Report, Order of Protection, Gations. On uh, the 17th of February, 2003, at approximately 1130, 11.30 hours, it's 11.30 in the morning, a complaint, was a complaint was received in the Office of Professional Standards via telephone from Officer Bales from the Miami Beach Police Department on behalf of the complainant. The complaint alleged that between uh, the 13th of February 2003 and the 17th, uh, at various hours while she was vacationing in Miami, Florida, the accused officer, jo John Cantanzara, uh, continued to harass her by making numerous unwanted telephone calls with threatening remarks. It is further alleged that on the 18th of February 2003 and prior to the 21st of February 2003, the accused officer, John uh, George Costanza, that's just easier, made uh, several harassing calls to her cellular phone and home phone in violation of an interim order of protection served on the 18th of February 2003 and direct order given and a direct order given by Lieutenant Eve Gushes on the 19th of February, 2003. The lieutenant said, Stop it. It is further alleged that on the 16th of January, 2003, at uh, 0400 to 0500 hours, 
the accused uh, entered her residence without authorization. It is further alleged that on the 16th, the accused failed to immediately report to the Chicago Police Department that he was under investigation by an outside agency. You, when there's smoke, there's fire. He's got 50 of these complaints altogether. Medical, use of force, operation personnel violations, use of force, operation personnel violations, personnel violations, personnel violations, uh, criminal misconduct, operation personnel violations, personnel violations, personnel violations, criminal misconduct, use of force, personnel violations, personnel, 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 conduct on becoming an officer, off duty, verbal abuse, conduct on becoming, unknown, use of force, conduct on becoming, use of force, domestic, verbal abuse, personnel violations, verbal abuse, verbal abuse, domestic, again. Conduct, verbal abuse, verbal abuse, use of force, conduct on becoming, conduct on becoming, conduct on becoming, conduct on becoming, criminal misconduct, criminal misconduct, verbal abuse, conduct on becoming, personnel violations, conduct on becoming, illegal search, personnel violations, use of force, use of force, operation personnel violations. So here's the deal. If Mr. John Katzenrana wants to have a discussion with me, Disorderly Product News, he's more than welcome. He has an open invitation. In fact, you name the time and you name the place, I'll come to you. If not, we can do it uh, via uh, Skype, via Zoom, however you want. If you're so confident in your position, you should have no problem debating me. You should have none. I'd smoke your boots. You know there's no way in this world you would ever get in a conversation with me. You and I both know that. You'll never be on this early product news. Stop it. Stop dreaming. He's not built like that. It's his job to say the most ludicrous things you've ever heard. There, there, is, there is no crazier person in the public sector than the Fraternal Order of Police representative. They just push the line and push the line and push the line. It doesn't have to make sense. It never makes sense. Everything is pro-police. We need more police. We have 13.4 13, thousand police officers. Houston's about to overtake us in population. It has more than double uh, the land size as us and has just over 5,000 police officers. We need to cut police officers. So there you go, John. You got a second chance to make a first impression. We pretend like you never turned around when you said surprise and I turned out a dime. You could start over. Come on, disorderly product news and debate me. Anyways, let's get back to reality. Everybody, I want you to have a happy and healthy rest of your weekend. And the tour is kicking off, taking over tyranny. But for right now, I bid you good night.